Danny, what's going on? We are removing this front clip so we can change the radiator motor that someone would broke when they were driving my car. Uh -oh. Okay, so we got a broken uh, radiator. Easy peasy. Giveaway time! Don't forget, we're giving away a pair of LED ox beam headlights like we installed in Boosty. The link to the video and official rules, everything you need to know, is going to be below. So check it out! So, okay, so the radiator fan housing, whatever it's called, it's all kind of one piece, is broke right here. See? Oh, right there. So, so there's like a couple little clips that hold this top piece on yeah. underneath. Then we have to kind of pry off. Okay. All right. So those clips are to hold, okay, this piece right here? Yes. All right. And you can see that's loose now. And then we're going to pull this whole clip. And there's a couple of T30s that we have to get loose too. All right. So we're going to put you on a, on a tripod. We'll be back. Okay, what's going on? What's going on? We are about to replace this motor in here. Yep, the fan motor for the radiator. Yes, sir. You're right, bro. Alright, we pulled the whole front clip off. Look at that. Um, there's a video online that actually showed us every single step, every single bolt. So we didn't waste a bunch of time. We just jumped on, watched the video, pulled it right off. Lifesaver. YouTube is a lifesaver if you know how to search, look for the right thing. So, anyway, whole front clips off now. This, all of this uh, radiator is uh, right here. This is a radiator. <laughs> and this is the fan. This is the fan mount. You can see it bolts to the radiator right here, right here, to the shock tower right here. And down here, there's a couple bolts. Not sure how many. There's at least a couple down here. A lot of people are surprised that the front shocks on a Can-Am can are single shear. A lot of people go crazy on that and they do all kinds of different mounts and stuff. But I've never seen a front shock break off of a Can-Am. So I'm not sure why people are so concerned. Hold my beer. If you break this single shear shock off of this car, uh, you, you, you got other problems for sure. You broke a bunch of other stuff. Can't you? Anyway, we're going to pull this the rest of the way off. We'll be right back. We're going to put you on the tripod right here.
It's a part. Right? Yep. Right? Yep. Now your eyes are going to put it together for us. Yeah. Let me have a couple beers first. We did. Here's the clip. Here's the whole front clip over here. Uh-oh. Uh our sign fell down. Here's the whole front clip we pulled off. Here's the radiator that's unbolted currently. Unclipped. And everything gets held together. The broken way. fan is right here. Yeah, everything gets hold, held together by this piece of plastic. Even including the front shocks are held on. Not really held on. It's a joke. That's just where they're mounted. I mean, the oh, fan's mounted. What's it different? Mm hmm. All right. Now we're gonna swap over the swap over the parts. Okay, so we're not having the best of luck. We uh, got it pretty much back together. We're missing a bolt. We're missing a bolt that looks like this. And then as we uh, are looking for the bolt, we notice this, look, brand new part. Must've got bounced around in shipping. Just the broken parts in there. So, broken part. So, new part, broken, go back. Inbox, get replaced with not broken new part. Anyway. So that kind of puts an end to that. But we got one more thing we had to do on this car. We're gonna do that in a minute. In the meantime, radiator's laying here. Hopefully we find missing bolt. Or he'll get another one. We're gonna pick up some tools and then uh, we're going to uh, do something inside here. Look, what happened right there? It's broken. So, anyway, moving right along. Check out these cool handles. I'm gonna be showing them to you. Look again. Look at that. Look at that. We should have just done this and Pulling that front clip off was not that bad. If you want to pull your front clip off, we will send. I'll put a link down below to a video that we watched that showed us exactly how to get the front clip off. I mean, we could figure it out. It's not that bad. But why figure it out when you can go on YouTube and somebody's already done it? Just oh, doesn't yeah, make sense to do that. Anyway, we'll put the link below. <laughs> okay, so we gotta wait for some parts like we talked about to fix this, to fix the radiator fan. Because the one we one got was broken already. It came pre-broken for us. We didn't have to break it. Anyway, so now what are we doing? Well, there's no instructions, like you would read them anyways. Okay. I just, oops. What is it? It's just a little plate that goes over this. I believe just kind of match it up with everything and drill the holes and put the screws in. All right. And it's a dragon fire. Excellent. It doesn't even say what it is. How much was this? About 30 bucks. That's not bad. It looks kind of cool too. So I'll hold while you screw. I mean, um, drill. Okay. And the bag you just dropped has the screws in it. Wherever you just threw it. All right. We got to get the bag. Yeah, I dropped it. <laughs> We gotta figure out what size. Can point at this real quick? You don't have one? Get one? Yeah. They're awesome. Yeah, some of the regular radios. It's pretty cool. Yeah, that is cool. Look at that. We use ours all the time. We actually just leave it on all the time. I don't ever take it off unless I'm turning the radio on or off or changing the channel. Same here. Other than that, I just leave it on. Okay. All right, we're gonna uh, drill. And That's why I have to hold that because it, it kind of pushes it to slide. Okay. All right, we'll be right back. I gotta get a drill bit and some and a drill. Here's what we're doing real quick here. We are going to see if we have the right size drill bit for these little screws. We're gonna drill some pilot holes for these little screws and uh, 
in this area right here where these holes are, where those holes are so that we can screw that thing in place. We're going to find a screwdriver real quick. Find out, ready? Here's some plastic. Drill the hole in the plastic. We're gonna take the screw and we're gonna make sure it fits right. We don't want it too loose, we don't want it too tight. Right? Okay, that bit's too big. So we need a smaller bit. So technically, we need the bit that's missing. We're gonna have to just go with this extra small pilot hole, right? Yeah. Grab it. It said extra small works. So there's our little pilot hole. Here's our screwdriver. Perfect. That one's okay. That one's junk. That one actually feels really good. We're going to use this guy. So we're going to use this screwdriver. This bit. And we're going to do this. I forgot to take you with us. Here we go. Ready? Is that one of those? It just has to cover up all the other ones. Yeah, but you want it to be straight. That's why I'm holding this right there because if I let go, it's going to put pressure on the plate. Alright. So I'll stick to you. Hey, you're the one drilling. Oh my god. Oh. You're the one with the OCD. I'm not the only one. I wish I would have got the small drill. How about that? Good. Dan is patiently waiting. It'll be fine. Two out of three projects. Whoa! Whoa! It's getting hot in here. It's not even hot yet. It's just very hot. Air conditioning is coming our way. Has to. The shop's gonna get air. The shop's gonna get air conditioning. We have to. I can't do this. I can't do it. It's not even hot yet. That's the funny thing. It's really not. Alright. What are we thinking? Looks good. Yeah. All right, we put this last screw in. I mean, on this end. Then we'll draw the top screw. I'm not gonna. I mean, this is not an instructional video by any means. But I really don't know what to tell you about this because you just hold it in place until it looks straight, mm -hmm. which is straight if it looks straight. And then you drill the holes. Then you put the screws in. I mean, that's really all. That's all there is to it, right? Screw. Little screwdriver. Wow. It even says park. Where it race. No race. You're high. And leave. Is that top one tight? Top right one? Right. Well, I have to check the torque. 2.5, 2 2.7 pounds, 2.7 pounds, oh, let me check this, 2.7 pounds, 
two, oh, 2.3. Oh, okay, 2.7 pounds right there. I had to use a torquemometer. What do you mind made that for me? Yeah? Technically my cousin. Travis? No, my other cousin. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. It feels good. It definitely has more leverage, so it's easier to shift. Bam. Two out of three projects done today. Okay, so we got two out of three projects done. The other one did not go well because uh, the new part's broken. Uh, mm -hmm. But this one's cool, right? Yeah. You like it? Yeah, I do. New shift plate because this piece, El Broco, now it has a tab to stop on for neutral. High, you can't bump it in. And it's got this new locally made shift knob. You like it? Mm hmm. I like it. Okay, so I think that probably ends this uh, day of projects because we cannot go any further. Yeah, we have a broken part. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to clean it up. I think I get almost a good long straight run on it. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for joining us on Patreon. Those of you that have, there's been a few. Thanks for clicking that like button. Uh, thanks for commenting. We love the comments. We appreciate all those things very, very much. So if you can continue to do that, we would love it. Um, you know, I get it. Sometimes you watch the video, you're in, you're out. That's cool too. We appreciate that as well. Thanks. And Brandy said, peace. 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 Bye.